Good evening guys. So I got a quick little job here for today. I'm going to be replacing the flat 4 connector that is on my trailer with a 7-way round pin plug. Going to be changing it out because the new Chevy Trail Boss that I just picked up does not have a flat 4 connector but my other trucks do have a 7-way. So by swapping out to a 7-pin plug, I don't have to have any adapters and I'll be able to hook this trailer onto any truck I have and work the lights. So I figured I'd take this opportunity to walk you guys through how to disassemble and hook up a trailer plug. It's a very easy job, does not require very many tools. Uh, basic hand tools work just fine. I got a wire cutter stripper and two different size screwdrivers and that is all I'm going to need to swap out that connector. So stick around and I'll show you how all this works. So right here you can see this is your flat four trailer plug. This is your typical trailer plug you would find on a single axle trailer. Uh, this plug here is pretty much just meant to run tail lights, stop and turn lights, and that's about it. So you have no provisions for trailer brakes or reverse lights or any auxiliary lighting running through this plug. A seven-way RV plug like this, you now have more pins, more electrical connections, and you can run trailer brakes, auxiliary lighting, reverse lights, there's a multitude of other things that can run through this plug. You'll typically find this behind tandem trailers and or um, like RVs will have it, motor camper trailers, basically anything that needs more than just stop turn tail lights will probably have this plug unless you're looking at a commercial truck and then it'll probably have a pin style plug instead of a blade style plug. This is more of a non-commercial application. And then you look, when you look at the instructions here, you can see it'll tell you what each of the pins actually are for. Um, and so we will just use the ground tail light, left turn, right turn, and that'll be for converting a four pin wire harness from the four pin plug to the seven way. If I had trailer brakes, I would use the trailer brake plug or if any of the other ones, I would wire it up those as well. But I will just be using four pins in here to effectively wire up this plug. So to start the job, we need to cut the old four-way plug off. But before I do, I figured I'd take time to explain the coloring. Your trailer wiring harness colors are pretty well standard across the board. Uh, your white wire will be a ground. The brown wire, in this case there's two of them coming out of the plug, is your tail lights. And then the yellow and green are your left and right turn signals. Best way I have found to remember it is yellow, there's an L, that's your left. Green has an R, that's your right. So you get your left and right stop turn signal. Tail lights, ground. So that will make it really easy. And then we'll look at the seven-way plug once we get that opened up. But first step, we got to cut the old plug off. I'm going to leave a little bit of a tail in case I ever need this plug. I'll be able to wire it in to a different vehicle. I'm going to cut all the wires and the plug falls away. Next, we're going to go ahead and we're going to strip the wires back a little bit. So now we got all of the wires stripped. We can now take apart the seven pin connector. So first thing for taking this connector apart is I gotta take 
plug out of the bottom here. Phillips screw. Thread that out. There's a little metal spade in there. Don't know how well you can see that. But essentially this, with this screw pushing it down, is what will hold the wire harness in there. And there's an extremely tiny screw on the end of the connector right here. So I gotta back that screw out. And once that's backed out, I'll be able to push into the connector out and there's all the contacts so looking at them I think I'm gonna have to strip just a little bit more or for the wire harness joined up she has the end of the plug you look at it, it says Hopkins plug is labeled what each one is I'm going to want the so GD, that'll be ground. Let me back that out. That guy out. He's in far. Don't drop and lose your little pieces. Oh, before you connect any wires to this end, you're gonna have to put the harness through your actual plug body. Take that. Take that. Slide it through there. Push it like that. All right, so I made a loop with the copper wire, put the screw through that, got the little clamp bar on there. Now I'm gonna be able to screw that down onto the terminal. Spin it. And there we go. Yeah, come on, damn you. There's one wire done. Now, I just have to do it for the four others. Right next to the ground, this is the LT port. So we'll go ahead and take that one out. And we'll hook the yellow up. Yellow has an L left. We'll hook the yellow wire up to the LT. Again, try not to drop your hardware. I got my yellow wire. Make a loop out of the yellow wire. Stick the screw through. Tighter. Yes, this is as small and fumbly looking as it feels. As I said, this is easy, but can be tedious. left turn now mm. 
Oh, there it is. There's left turn. So you got left turn, right turn, which if you were looking at where the face of the plug, right turn, left turn, is where they would respectfully be. So right, left, left, right. Take the right turn apart. And we install the green wire on the right turn. Put it in a loop. There we go. wires and then TM on this plug that is my tail lights so that'll be my last plug so we spin around get the TM pulled out pulled apart There. Yeah, come on, spin just a little bit for me. <clears throat> so now I got my connections all made. Ground, left turn, right turn, tail lights. Now you take that and you slide it back into the housing put the set screw for the that holds the connector face in tighten that down and let me back that out just a hair try not to deform the plug and then over here as I said before this here spade and set screw go in the bottom of the plug here and that will close this rubber in and hold the wire in place so that when you actually pull the plug in and out if you happen to pull on the wire at all you're not pulling on the physical terminals you're it's pulling out the connector and that goes like that Put that guy back in wire harness in place and that's it that's now a seven pin plug on a four pin harness so now this trailer can get hooked into any of my trucks and I don't have to worry about can or can't the truck run the trailer lights as I said I'll keep this flat four I'll probably just end up getting thrown and lost into a toolbox drawer of despair as I hoard it for the possibility of ever needing it again. And there you have it. Seven pin plug on a four pin harness. This is an easy repair, takes basic tools. If I had to rate it, I'd probably say eh, maybe a two, three out of 10. 
definitely something that any of you guys could easily do at home. Uh, this is general procedure for if you ever had to replace a plug, even if it's a seven wire harness, just follow the diagram and make sure you put the correct wires where they go. And it doesn't take much to get it done. So if you enjoyed this content, please hit that like and subscribe button. And now after a job well done, I'm going to go relax with a cold beverage and I'll catch you guys on the next one.